Hey, what's happening, YouTube? How's it going, everybody? Thanks for coming back to another episode of Aquaform with me, Steve, bringing you today episode three, part three of the Garage Days Revisited Breeder Tank Upgrade. We're going to be working on upgrading my breeder project. So, so far, what have we done? Uh, so far, we've, I've talked about how I built the racks talked about how I decided what size tanks I'm going to be using and the positions that I'm going to be putting them in this tiny dinky ass space. We did the plumbing and we did a little bit of electrical and talked about how important that is to have it where you need it that is. So today we step up into the big leagues. Today we're going to be talking about central air filtration. That's a most economical way to run multiple tanks off of air. It's super easy. I just bought myself a Gem, a Gemco Diaphragm 30. So this episode we're going to be going through how I'm setting that up in this room. So whether you stumble down here because you're thinking about doing it yourself or you're just one of my subscribers who dig watching me make a fool of myself or just dig my content, uh, I appreciate that. Anyhow, let's get to it because I'm super stoked. I'm as excited as Chewbacca mom. So here she is, the Gemco Diaphragm 30. Boasts a 44 liter per minute at 1.5 PSI. It'll run 20 to 30 tanks. And it's, uh, like I said, the diaphragm form. Gemco is a great company. It got a great name in our hobby. I definitely wanted the linear piston pumps. However, it's not in the budget, not in the budget yet, man. So this was $100 cheaper than its comparable linear piston pump. And it's about $40 cheaper than a competitor that starts with A for their same size pump. 46 watts at full usage. So I'm not gonna be using it fully either. So it's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty uh, energy efficient because it, I'm hoping to shave about 10 to 15 uh, watts off of that because A, I'm only going to be running 19 ports fully and then the rest will be all auxiliary. So let's see what it all came with. I lied, it only came with this one thing. It's the braided hose, braided vinyl, vinyl tubing with the connectors. And then this is a nice soft rubber piece to absorb vibration, I'm sure. Uh, but this is what came with the pump. This manifold is what I was talking about. I also got this from Gemco. Now you can probably DIY this yourself. Super cheap, you know, cheaper than I paid for this, but it was $16. $16 for an eight uh, needle valve uh, manifold, man. So that's gonna save me a lot of effort. 16 bucks is not out of the, the you know out of this world pricey especially in this hobby uh, also you know they they handcrafted this themselves uh, and then tapped both ends of this so I could just screw into that which I plan on doing and then they give you all the bits and bobs they gave you the the hangers to hang them up hose clamps uh, vinyl tubing connections so I don't even have to run around and get those unfortunately I'm not using any of those pieces with the exception of maybe the clamp but uh, yeah, this was definitely worth $16, so I got three of them uh, for my little project here. So next is on to the build and my design and probably won't get back until it's, the project's finished. I'm basically gonna run it, gonna set it underneath this rack here. We're gonna run it up. We're gonna have eight valve port here. Then we'll have another one here. And then I'm going to just have another one right here between these two tanks, like right there. It's going to run up to the ceiling, all the way around and back down. So I'm going to put my loop up here on the ceiling. And that's one important thing that they talk about. You need a loop to prevent back pressure. So let's get going, man. I'm really excited. Okay, so putting this together should be relatively easy because you don't need any glue. Uh, you should be able to just snug fits on the PVC. should be good enough. Um, my pump recommends using three quarter inch PVC, so we'll be using that. Just something, a tool to cut the PVC. I got a hacksaw. Some of you fancy boys might have them there PC or PVC cutters, that is. 
and then just all the com all the uh, little components or little uh, add-ons. My elbows. I needed two T sections. I got a couple clamps. These are really great. This is half-inch threaded uh, male adapter to three-quarter inch pipe, and they screw in right into the uh, manifolds for me. So that's going to make that really easy to put together too. And then I also bought a three-quarter inch ball valve. I'm plan on putting it somewhere. Say this is the airline. I plan on putting it somewhere in a T to uh, bleed off some air. I have a feeling this pump is going to be way more than this setup requires. And uh, I don't want the pump overworking too much. So I got that just in case to help adjust, uh, to help bleed air basically. Okay, so here she is. The central filtration system now installed in my garage fish room uh, it worked out really well um, went up relatively easy only had one casualty and that's when I was putting this up here it slipped hit this just in the right place to crack this tank so add another tank to the list that's kind of a bummer but let's talk about the pump a little bit as you can hear noise level is it's tolerable but you know it's definitely just as loud as what I it replaced um, it's not over overly humming and it's in the garage so it doesn't really matter that much to me but uh, start saving up for that linear piston pump <laughs> that they're supposedly dead silent anyhow we go up to our first tee comes on down and this will power this rack. I'm going to get an air stone for my water changer. I don't want to, uh, or I'm sorry, I started trying to bleed it off. I really don't know what that means. Uh, I've only, in my research, hear everybody doing it. Um, this is with no nothing bleeding off right now, just all the sponge filters going, and it seems to be okay. Because, you know, this was a great idea, this little thing to vent off air, but listen when I open it up. It's loud as hell. So, if anybody can let me know what the purpose of bleeding off air is, I'd appreciate it. Because um, right now I don't know if I'm doing any damage to my pump. But, the best part, y'all, it's just coming together, man. I haven't had a chance to paint the back wall, finish painting everything. Woo woo! Uh, so, only thing left to do is to organize the airline per rack and per tank. Uh, it's going to be a little difficult because I've got like four sponge filters in each one of these tanks, just keeping them alive. Uh, next video is up. I need lids for the tanks and I need lights for the tanks. And then I'll probably do a quick video on my water changing system. Uh, some subscribers wanted a little bit more detail on it. Comment, rate, subscribe. We'll catch you next time. Having fun with this one, y'all. Take care.